guys! So today I wanted to make a video about the ways you can make a living off your creativity and specifically I'm going to focus more on art because that's what I have the most experience in. This is one of the most asked questions that I receive, ironically enough from people who are in art school. Mind you, I'm not the best candidate to be giving advice on this topic but I figured, you know, why not help people or just offer some of my tips or advice. Now first of all, lose the mindset of just making money, like that should not be your soul motivation. It's to work on something that you're really passionate about or something that gives meaning to your life. It's because you love it. It's not to make a bunch of money. My motivation has never been money and it's not and in fact if it was I would have quit a long time ago because I don't really make a lot so. Now first and foremost before you even think about trying to sell your art you should really indulge yourself in your art. Really focus on developing a body of work. A series of paintings or drawings or whatever you want. But don't be one of those artists that only makes a drawing or two like once a month, if that. Okay, you can't expect yourself to have a future in art if you're not making art. That's just science. You know, it's like if you don't study, if you don't go to class, you're not going to get good grades. Well, if you don't make art and if you don't practice a lot, you're not going to get better. And how can you expect anyone to want to buy your work if you're not really that dedicated to it? So practice every single day because that's going to teach you what you like or what you don't like. You're going to develop your own style, which is going to make your work stand out. Forget about what other people are doing. Every single person has a different story and a different process and it's all just very different. So that's why the advice I'm going to give you is just from my personal experience. Every artist has their own story, so take what you will out of it because you guys really do ask me a lot and I feel bad if I miss an email and don't get to answer, but I just, I can only type the same thing over and over again so many times. So I figured I'd make a video and if anybody has this question, I'll just send them this video. You want to promote yourself on social media. Be available on multiple social networks like Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, those three are really great. You also want to upload your work to a site like DeviantArt because that's just another opportunity for people to discover you. I used to sell art prints on DeviantArt back when I was a teenager and when I was just still doing photography. There's a lot of people who got discovered on that website and just found a following and people who appreciate their work. So, you know, be available in multiple places and be consistent. You want to have a blog of some kind, like I said, Tumblr is a great option. Somewhere that you can share your progress, your creative environment, your space. I find that a lot of people are also interested in what's going on behind the scenes of all the paintings. Make that aspect of your work available to be seen as well. Make it easy for people to find you. Hashtags and keywords. You want to be one of the first few results when people are searching under the painting or art tag. You have a few options for selling your art. You can sell your originals and you can sell prints. I used to sell my work on Etsy and there's a few other websites that you can check out where you can build your own online store and I've, you know, I'll just put them somewhere in the video. I use Big Cartel and I love it. I do have to pay for it because I have a domain and I upgraded my membership so that I can put more items in my store and all that good stuff. But pretty much all those are free and you can just set up a store right now if you wanted to. Prints are a little more complicated. What I have in my store are Gicle prints. A Gicle is basically a printed artwork or photograph from a super high quality inkjet printer on thick fine art paper. The ones I use are 100% cotton, 100% acid free, and the other thing with G-Clays is that the combination of the paper and the ink that you use makes them last a long time. The colors are supposed to stay pretty much over a hundred years. Normal printers and normal ink usually fades and it's not gonna last. With G-Clays the colors are gonna last like till the end of your life. You can order your prints online. This is one website that you can you have an option to use. Um, I've ordered them on another site, but I'm not going to mention what it was because when the prints came, like the colors were just completely off and I figured it's going to be really hard for me to get accuracy if I'm getting them shipped to me all the time. Because the thing with prints is that you have to go through a color proofing process. First of all, the work has to be professionally photographed for, you know, the best quality. And secondly, once you take the photo, it, it still doesn't match reality when you print it it's gonna look different so you have to do a few test runs and you have to tweak the colors digitally to make them accurate and make them match so it does take a certain knowledge of like photo editing so basically I have to do multiple test runs of prints which does consume a lot of ink 
and it's pretty expensive before I'm finally happy with it. I do make them myself. Last year, I finally decided that I was gonna take this seriously and I had a lot of requests for prints. I weighed my options and I thought, how can I do this? I did a whole bunch of research about what kind of inks and what kind of paper I should use and I finally invested you know, over a thousand dollars into a printer and inks and paper and all the, just all the equipment that I needed. I felt kind of crazy to just throw that money into something with you know no guarantee, but I just had a good feeling about it, so I went for it. I mean, I could have bought a bunch of clothes, food or rent, or I could have gone to Europe to see my family. I haven't seen them in years. But I just, you know, I just dove head first and hopefully there was water in the pool and there was. I'm alright guys, I'm alright. And I use a professional Epson printer. What is the model if I could remember? I think it's 3880. The papers that I use is Moab. I think that's how you say it. A printmaking is not something that's cheap. So I would suggest if you don't have the money to invest into printing equipment and inks and papers and constantly keep replenishing them, I would suggest checking out a local print shop in your area, preferably ones that do giclés and fine art. You can Google it, I'm sure you'll find something. And usually they'll offer like a package where you can have your work photographed and they will color proof it for you and you can order a certain amount of prints. They're usually about nine dollars per print on average for eight and a half by eleven but it could be you know maybe a little more or less. So you can order your prints online just be aware that they might not exactly match the original which requires you to go through the color proofing process. Or you can use Society6 which pretty much they just print it and package it all up for you. All you do is just upload your art so now, once again, the whole point of this is not to make money. It's to, like, indulge yourself in art. I sell my art for super cheap, especially on originals. And I've, I get told this by so many people. Even someone who wanted to manage me before was like, you know, you sell your work way too cheap. I mean, those things are supposed to be special and unique, and that's, that's not what I'm going for. I'm not here to make a huge profit off anyone. I'm not here to be some unattainable unicorn. If you can afford a cell phone or a pair of jeans, then more than likely you can afford my art. It's more about just connecting with people. If somebody likes my work and wants to support me and contribute it to it and hang it up in their house and it inspires them or makes them happy, then that makes me happy. That's what that's really why I have an art store. My art store is not my only source of income. It's just like a, a part of it. I'm obviously a YouTube partner, so I've been doing that for the past three years. And I also take commissions from people and different companies and, you know, all together it adds up to where I can survive off of it. I just kind of fell into it. <laughs> it happened almost by accident, but I'm just rolling with it. I have no idea what's going to happen. I really don't. Um, I just know that I don't want to be unhappy every day and art makes me happy so that's why I do it and if my YouTube channel can help inspire someone or motivate someone or help them out maybe like with this video then that's why I do it that's the whole point of it now if you are just looking for some easy cash there's another option for you available but if you have free time or you're like watching TV or doing something pointless or whatever then this is something that might be a really good option for you and that is filling out surveys. I've seen a lot of advertisements online for websites that are claiming to, you know, pay you to fill out surveys and then I'll click on the ad and it's like a scam, of course. There's one website that I am positive is legit because I've tried it out and it's legit. It's free to join and to use. You do have to be 18 or older to fill out surveys. So you get points for filling out surveys and you can exchange it for cash in PayPal or you can get gift cards from different stores like Amazon or iTunes or whatever. There's a quarterly drawing for a $10,000 prize and the cool thing is that every single time that you fill out a survey, your name goes in there. So the more surveys you fill out, the higher your chance of winning, and obviously the more points you get, which you can transfer into money or gift cards. Now how this works is research companies need your information. They want to know your opinions on food, TV, politics, products, different companies, so you can actually get paid to answer questions. Anytime there's a new survey available for you to fill out, it'll send you a notification in your promotions tab on your Gmail account. I think this is a great option for someone who's got some extra 
extra time on their hands and you don't really feel like doing anything else if you don't feel like painting, you can fill out a survey. <laughs> this is something that can help out with art supplies or groceries or gas or whatever, you know, it's a really great option to try out. The website is called Opinion Outpost and I'm going to link them down below in the description box. So check down there and you will find the link. On the internet, you can make money doing pretty much anything. You know, money is a tool. It's, it shouldn't be a life purpose. At least it's not to me and it never was. Um, society looks a little backwards to me because people, too many people, you know, pick a career solely for the purpose of money, not because it's what their passion is. They think, I think I guess I won't hate this for the rest of my life. I think I guess I'm gonna do it. And then like 10 years down the line, they're on antidepressants. I didn't want that to be my life, so I'm just rolling with this ball I've been given. I started doing YouTube videos because I found myself kind of, you know, falling off the wagon with my art. I was bartending full time. I was a full time college student. I wasn't studying art. I was pretty much working almost every day of the week. Sometimes I would do double shifts, so I would be at work from morning till nighttime. That's 13 hours at the bar just pouring alcohol. And it was exhausting. It was really stressful, on top of which I had to do schoolwork and study. And I just, you know, I wasn't happy. And I started my YouTube channel as a way to motivate myself to make more art. I figured if I put it out there, I would feel much more inclined to continue on with it as opposed to just being a closet artist and not sharing it with anyone. And that was 2010. So it takes a lot of time. I didn't really go into this with the mindset of, oh, I'm gonna make tons of money. I'm just happy to make art and share it with you. It's just fun. I wake up every day and I'm excited to paint and work. It's not easy. It's hard work. Just like anything, it's really hard. Um, but it's worth it because it's fun. <laughs> And I'd rather work hard on my art than work hard for someone else's dreams and just be a worker. I don't want to do that. Hope this has been helpful. And feel free to leave any more questions down below that you would like me to answer. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe because that just makes me happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!